high. So I'm probably gonna trip while I'm walking. Um, so I just wanted to explain a little bit more about Ozempic and how um, it actually, not just to say how it works, but what to expect. So a lot of people take Ozempic and they think that it's a wonder drug. They think that they're going to, um, you know, magically lose weight. It's gonna be quick, it's gonna be painless, and you know, they're gonna get their beach body. Ozempic doesn't work like that. Um, what happens is, and of course they always say, each person's um, experience is unique, and that's true. But the medication basically is gonna work um, the same way, right, for, for everyone. It's the same amount of medication, it's the same uh, medication itself. And um, so what happens is originally, when you first take Ozempic, you get, um, a quick weight loss you really do um some people complain that they don't but for the most part um if you're doing it if you're taking it properly in the doses that you're supposed to um you will get um a good result in the beginning but then what happens is your body starts to level off your pancreas starts to um absorb the medication get used to it everything uh kind of gets to a standstill now i wouldn't call it a plateau plateau is a little bit different in this case the medication just works differently um you know same medication but your body reacts to it differently that's what i really should say and so um i'm gonna let you guys get a little oh i can't turn it around can i i was gonna say you can get it no, I guess I can't. Um, sorry. Um, so anyway, so then what happens is um, your body starts leveling out. And you could go a couple of weeks and have absolutely no difference in your weight. Um, and a lot of people quit at that point. They think it's not worth the money. It's not worth the aggravation. And they look at all the food that they're de depriving this of, of. And they quit. And then they badmouth Ozempic and um have to find another way to lose weight but the reality of it is is that if you continue on it's going to pick up again i don't know why but that's how it works so you go from um a, a sudden weight loss to a very slow or no weight loss and then eventually it picks up and you have weight loss again now i've been on it for two years i've lost 70 pounds that's with no exercise uh and the only effort is um what i eat right what i put in my mouth so for a lot of people 70 pounds is not impressive because it took two years to me it's 70 pounds that was majority of it was um covid weight and so um it was important to me to get it off you know for health reasons as well as you know, I'm not a spring chicken anymore. And um, just in general, just, uh, you know, to feel better. So I'm happy with my 70 pounds and I'm working on some more. Um, I started out with Ozempic in December of 2019. I didn't really start until January and um, of 2020. And um, I... Uh, I forgot what I was going to say. So I've lost 70 pounds. And I, oh yeah, I was 338 when I started. And I was 266 last week. Now the thing is, I'll do the math. It's about 70 pounds here or there. Um, the thing is that it's very easy to gain weight with Ozempic. So um, meaning if you go off, even though it's in your system, it's in your system for five weeks after you quit. Ozempic, but for the most part, you guys see the turtle. <laughs> for the most part, um, it stays in your system for five weeks, and um, uh, if you eat, even when it's working, you can still overeat, you know, because it's mind over matter for a lot of it. And if you decide that that's what you want to do, you want to eat that, you know, special meal or something, then um, you're gonna gain weight. You know what I mean? It's, it's some of the weight comes back. Eventually, people have complained that, especially like celebrities who have mentioned it, they've gained more weight than they started out having to lose. There's something wrong there. It's not the medication. That's the lack of self-control. Um, because 
you know, it is work. Ozempic is work. It's not just a magic little fix. So anyway, so I went down to 266 last week and then, which is the most I've touched. I can never break 266. Something goes off in my mind and I think like that's where I need to stop. Uh, even though I know I don't, it's just something happens and then I overcompensate with eating something I shouldn't. So anyway, so now I am 272 after a week of birthday cakes and all kinds of food and stuff. So I'm 272. Now I took uh, pictures of the scale going down, I think from like 279 to 266. Um, and I took those pictures dated so that I can show you guys that it, when it comes off, it comes off quickly. Um, and like I said, now it's mind over matter. Um, I'm not really, I'm, I'm getting myself back into where I need to be. I'm taking 1.0 of the Ozempic um, and I've never gone up to 2.0. I do have a box of the 2.0 to start. I've had that for a few months now, but I continue to just take my 1.0 because, um, you know, it's worked for me. I don't see the point in having to um, take something higher right now because, you know, at the end of the day, that's the most you can take, right? So if I want to increase, I can't increase after that unless I go on Wagovi. Wagovi has a 2.4 as opposed to Ozempic, which has 2.0. So anyway, um, I just wanted to explain a little bit about the actual weight loss process um, and what to expect because if you if you go on this medication just to get your beach body, you know, there's a good possibility that you not just will gain it back, but you'll gain more than you started out with. Um, it's not really worth the changes to your body because, you know, they say Ozempic has been around. Uh, those medications that make up Ozempic have been around for 20 years. So it's not like they're um, medications that we're unfamiliar with. Like when that virus was going around for a couple of years and everybody had to, you know, take the medications. Um, these were unknown medications to us, right? But Ozempic, we know the medications, um, they just had great success when they put them together. So I'm not trying to discourage anyone not to take Ozempic because like I said, for me, I've lost 70 pounds. I haven't had to do, um, you know, crazy work to get there. And I'm very happy with it. I feel sometimes that I'm wasting, <laughs> I'm wasting my prescription because I haven't lost any weight for, for let's say that particular month. Um, but I've never quit it. And I think that the mistake is when you quit, because when you quit it, you, again, you're going back to where you started from. Um, and my suggestion is when you do your Ozempic and you get to your um, goal weight or, or a weight that you're comfortable with, if you don't make your actual goal weight, once you get there, try to give yourself a little bit of a padding. Try to give yourself maybe a 10 pound padding or at least a five pound padding, right? Um, I know for people who are not very heavy, that's a lot, right? Because people who aren't heavy don't really gain that much at one time. People who are heavy can gain five pounds in a couple of days because for some reason, our metabolism is slower, our bodies hold on to it more, and maybe we're more gluttonous. We eat more because our stomachs are already stretched compared to thinner people. Um, I don't know all the reasons or the answers. I just know that uh, my suggestion is if you're a heavier person, you give yourself like a 10 pound cushion so that if you do gain, you anticipate to gain up to that 10 pounds because it's going to happen. You're not going to just stop Ozempic and stay thin unless you start to put in work and, and you know, do something else um, to keep it off. If you exercise and, and diet and, you know, the things that we're supposed to do anyway, um, then, you know, you'd keep it off. But 
if you're just like me and you're sedentary, I'm sedentary for many reasons, but um, if you're sedentary and you, you know, you're overweight, um, try to give yourself a little cushion when you quit. All right, anyway, I'm past the 10 minute mark. I'm going to get off of here and um, I'm gonna make more organized videos. Um, this is just one. Again, I just wanna reach out to the middle aged folks. I'm 59. I wanna let people know what to expect. Um, and especially if we have different medical conditions. I'm gonna get into that in another video as well. And you can see how Ozempic affects certain conditions, okay? So you guys have a nice weekend and thanks for watching. It would be nice if you subscribe, but it's fine if you don't. Um, have a nice day, bye-bye.